Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can add a user override on a particular item within your Moodle course. So let's say you have a person who needs to have more time on an exam or maybe have the exam open and close at a different time. This video is going to show you how you can go into that assignment or quiz and make those changes. So I have my Moodle course open and ready to go and I'm going to scroll down to a quiz that I've previously created. And what I wanna do is click on the actual exam itself. So I'm going to click where it says midterm exam. And then from within here, I'm going to click on the gear in the upper right hand corner. And from there, choose user overrides. What this is going to do is open up the screen that we need in order to start the process of adding the user overrides. So we're going to click add user override and you want to do this for each student. You cannot do multiple students at a time. So if you have five students, you're going to have to do this process five times. So we're going to search for our student in here that we're looking for. So we have our student here and we're just going to change the parameters of this particular item for whatever we're going to allow that person to do. So in this example, let's say this particular person needs more time to complete an exam. What we would do is click on enable and add how many minutes. So if everybody normally has 30 minutes, maybe this person gets 60. So you would put 60 minutes in and then save those settings. The same thing goes for opening the quiz and closing the quiz. Maybe you have a student that is opening it in a different time, so you need to allow them to open it earlier or later than somebody else. So you would just change the open date here and change the close date here. And if you're going to allow more attempts for a specific student, you would then do that in the attempts allowed section here. When you're done, you click on save. And now this student has the user override that is associated with them. If you want to add another user override, you would just continue the process by clicking add user override, searching the student in there and going forward as normal.